Well, great afternoon. I, I am absolutely gobsmacked at seeing <laughs> what I saw today. I was going to read part of this, and oh my God, the convoluted idea of who a victim is. Okay, I, I, I love this. This is, you know, could it get any more twisted? <clears throat> so this woman says that she's fighting with the tarot demon under the direction of Sarah Landry and Michananda. And she's going through a nervous breakdown and benzodiazepine withdrawal and uh, was in a rage and healing her rage. Okay. <clears throat> so in a rage and healing all her trauma because she just lost her children and grandchildren and her entire family. They would have nothing more to do with her. Okay. Uh, because why? She stopped her medication and stuff. And they, they took the grandchildren away. I guess CPS came and, and took them away. But anyway, so she's going on. She, she's in a rage and healing the trauma. And she's yelling and screaming and cursing. And she never denied uh, that. And as a matter of fact, that's what helped her heal her trauma. By yelling and screaming and cursing, okay, Attacking me by yelling and screaming and cursing is healing her trauma. I kid you not. So then she says that she's going to put a, a, a video in there that says uh, what's the behavior of the abused victim and the abuser. So it's the abused victim who's emotional will be yelling and screaming and has PTSD and it's the abuser who's calm. So because I'm calm, I'm abusing her and she just got through saying that she's being the most nasty, virulent thing she can do. Nasty, cursing, screaming, yelling, attacking me. That's helping her heal. And because I'm calm, she's being abused. I just go, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so she says she's not going to defend herself anymore. But then in the next couple sentences, she says she's not putting up with anybody's abuse anymore. She's not taking it and she's going on the attack. Well, that's what she's done. Okay. Um, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So so they said, uh, she, she says, these people are still abusing her and they want to cry victim. Well, isn't that special? Put up or shut up, demon. <laughs> what? <laughs> I kid you not. Okay. I kid you not, she actually said, I'll put a link to this video because this is really special. Somebody that admits that they're attacking you, being as nasty as they can, screaming and yelling and being filthy-minded and nasty, and that's helping them heal. That's helping her heal her trauma. And because I'm calm, that's proof positive that she, that I'm the abuser and she's the poor abused one. <laughs> Figure out that convoluted one. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's... Uh, if that's not circular thinking, I don't know what is to claim that, yeah, you're abusing somebody. You're being as nasty as you can, screaming and yelling, and it's healing your trauma. And because the other person is calm, you're being abused. 
that she's the victim. Yeah. I mean, I can't even figure how somebody could have something that twisted. Can, can somebody explain that to me? How can you just sit there and say all that stuff out of your mouth and still claim that you are the one being a victim? Okay. Because she found some obscure video that a victim is the one that's screaming and a victimizer is calm. I, I don't get it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave this here and you can hear it for yourself. I kid you not. People may think I'm making this up. I definitely not making it up. And um, yeah, just... Yeah, I am just gobsmacked when you hear something like that out of somebody's mouth and how they justify and twist everything to convince everybody in themselves that they're the victim. And I'm not the one out here claiming everybody's victimizing me. That's her shtick. That's not my thing. The only one I'm saying is, you know, she has been on the attack for six years. Every day putting videos out. Trying to defame and smear and just be nasty. And if you think I'm kidding, you could see her channel. Here, here is just some of the little offerings today. I'm just going to give you the titles of them, okay? Um, the Tarot Demon manifests demon in fire ceremony. The Tarot Demon throws her disciple into the fire. Snake demonizing... No, that, that's the other one. Um, snake demon lying her way into hell. Okay. How can you tell who the real victim is? Okay. And then she goes on to put on, what does the Bible say about abusing others? Which she does on a continual basis, daily, and then doesn't see her actions at all. And she reads all these things, that condemn what she's doing. How can somebody be that absolutely blind as to their actions? I don't get it. <laughs> but this one is really a mind bender about who the abuser is and who's the real victim. <laughs> Tell me I'm not losing my mind <laughs> because <laughs> this is the most twisted logic I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, I wanted to put an addendum to this real quick. The uh, link that she's got up that uh, is supposedly justifying and showing that uh, the calm person is the abuser and the one that's ranting and raving is the abused? Well, um, the, uh, what she's using for this is this doctor that's addressing child custody task force. Child custody. And he's discussing the need for subspeciality training in parental parental alienation. So tries to use this thing about parental alienation as a justification, saying, well, the one parent, of course, doesn't care. Uh, you, you know, they're calm because they're causing the abuse. Okay? And it's the other one that's ranting and raving 
Well, parental alienation has nothing to do with what she's doing here and playing the victim, okay? I'm not involved with her in a custody battle, okay? There's no parental alienation here, and it has nothing to do with this situation. But that's what I mean, you know, this is somebody that takes verses out of the Bible, doesn't read the whole thing, just takes this one little thing or one thing in the, out of Nisargadatta, leaves the rest of the context out of it, and says, there's proof positive. That proves it, and it proves nothing. Okay, it proves that you can take something out of context and spin it in such a way to try to convince yourself of something which is irrational. Okay, parental alienation being calm has nothing to do with this situation at hand. Okay, unbelievable.